Hey there and welcome. So if you're on this page and you're seeing this video, then clearly something has happened and you've clicked on one of the adverts that talks about the busy mum, the working mum. And you'll have gone to the first page and you'll have left me your details. So congratulations on step number one. That's excellent work. Okay, so what are we here for? So let's just talk about being a busy mum. So being a busy mum, having a career, juggling work, and whether that's full time or part time, it doesn't matter. It's, it's busy, I get that. And what's more than likely to have happened is that over the period of time of just being mum, the you has probably dropped away and you're not prioritizing yourself as number one. Now, that's not a bad thing. In the reverse of that, obviously me being a busy dad, and I'll talk about that a bit later on, what we do do is we focus on just being mum. We focus on serving everyone around us. We look at the kids, the partners, the dogs, the cats, the brothers, the sisters, the parents, for those of us that have got older parents. And the thing is, we stop putting ourselves at number one spot. And that's not a bad thing, like I said, but in time, we need to return that around because if we are not looking after ourselves and we're not putting ourselves in number one spot, then what will happen in time, and we've seen this with our parents, is it will slowly, slowly start to not look after ourselves and then suddenly we have to place ourselves number one and everything else is going to have to stop because we haven't taken care of ourselves now i've talked about that one thing and let's call a spade a spade i've hit the message around things like muffin tops things like tuck shop lady arms things like what we call the bra and the back fat i know it's not nice to hear but the reality is they're there we see them Typically, we don't like them. And a lot of PTs, a lot of gyms, they won't talk about the reality. They'll talk about, hey, come and get the bikini body. Come and do the 28-day shred. But the reality is that sits in a certain market. People are so superficial nowadays. It's the quick fix. It's what I call the pills, the potions, and the magic lotions. And being mum, being a parent, or for even if you're not that, if you're just a busy career woman, you don't have time, and that is not high on your priority list. But what is high on your priority list is you, and you being in good enough shape that you can look after yourself, look after those around you should you have them, but also look after yourself at work. Be the boss, go after the career. You might be five, you might be 10 years into the career. Hey, there's no limit on this damn thing. There's no bloody glass ceiling anymore. So therefore, in order for you to go and chase that, you need to be fit. Now, yeah, fitness wrapped up in looking after me and my career, I get that. But look at all the studies that are out there. Someone who is fit, someone who is mentally sharp, someone who is looking after themselves, you're in a better position than someone who is not. End of story. So we'll be caring for the kids. We're running, we've got school lunches, we've got after school sports. We've got all of that and we're juggling it. And number one hasn't taken place. We need to start putting you back at number one. So that's one of the things that we do. Now, why is a 50 year old bald dude telling you about what it's like to be a mum? See, on the reverse side, I made a decision before we had kids that I didn't want to be my dad. I didn't want to be busting my ass, doing multiple jobs and coming home and not seeing my kids and not being around for my kids and being that part-time. So I made a conscious choice to become a stay-at-home dad. Now I did that and I still worked as well too. Now, like that, kids come along. I wanted to give them everything as we all do and I did that and then my work got a bit busy and I was lucky enough to have my own business and one thing led to another and guess what? I put the kids first and I put my partner behind me and then me and you know what? It sucked and all started to fall apart. And what was worse in my case, I went from being around 90 kilos, right, to a 96, then I cracked 100, and at 115 kilos, I had two medical emergencies, what we call a transient isochemic attack. They are forms of stroke. I did not listen to my body on the first one. I just sort of shook it off. Yeah, right, the whole blokey blokey thing. Second one hit and I was away overseas and it scared the crap out of me. So I sat down and it took someone to say to me like I'm saying to you today, Dom, if you don't pull your finger out and put yourself at number one, you are not gonna be in any state or you may not be around to care for those around you. So that's what I'm here to do. Now, that's led me on my own journey. I ended up dropping 
my weight back down to 90 kilos and then I went on and I started exploring becoming a PT and getting my certifications and then I went into mixed martial arts as everyone did at the time and I dropped 18 kilos in 18 weeks and that's whenever I found what I call my method. Now I tried this with my clients who by the way mostly are female. The guys for some reason they don't get it. They're too macho, they're still this, they're still that, or they want the easy way out. Whereas a fine mum, man, you're giving birth. You've already been through the most pain that I can ever imagine. As close as I can get is kicking me in the groin. So I built the program around tailoring it for mums. Okay, so I want mums on the move. Mums on the move in 2020 is what we're after. So this challenge is this. If you're interested and you want to move, whether you want to move the muffin top, you want to move the back fat, you want to move the bit of the belly, the tuck shop arms, and we're here for you. See, there's all these dad bod programs out there, but no one goes specifically for the mum. I ain't no booty band stuff. I ain't no cardio bunny class jumping around. We do strength training. We do conditioning training. We do performance training for life. If it's a case of you've been able to lift nice and heavy so you can take all the bloody groceries and one lift from the car into the house, then that's what we're here for. To reach above your head, to be able to bend down to pick up the young kids for those who've still got young kids, or you know what, if the kids are like mine and they're teen, you can still hand them their, excuse me, their rear end while playing basketball and sports and keeping up with them and letting them know that you're the role model that they should want to be when they hit their 30s, 40s, or in my case, 50s. If that interests you, then all I want you to do is this. Stay on this page. Underneath, there's a few links. Video number one is the next one where we start to talk about facts. Yes, for everyone who joins my program, I want to make sure they understand four key principles. What are their facts? Where are they now? Like my dogs are barking. Where is the possibilities? What's their goals? What are they going to set? Why are they going after them? The fact that we have obstacles, you know that. There's never a straight line path from here to here. It's always a zigzag. Google Maps will tell you that, but how do we navigate that? And then what is the path that we do? And in our case, we talk about the path. We talk about three pillars. Mentalize, getting this sharp. Metabolize, understanding what food is like and treating our body like a high performance vehicle and fueling it right. And then mobilize, the work. Yeah, the workouts, they're there, don't worry. You're not gonna get this without it. It's a bit like the magic pill. You don't just take a magic pill and never have to work again. Man, you might lose some weight, it's like a diuretic, but at the end of the day, you'll be physically weak and you won't be strong to do the stuff that you want to do with your loved ones. So continue on, go to video one. If at any stage you want to share some information with us about who you are, where have you been, what are your goals, and therefore look at getting on a call with us, there's access to an assessment form. Click on that and it comes through to me. Um, we do get a number of them, so just be patient and we will get back to you and try and organise the call and see where our program can fit with you. If you think this is great, hey, this guy seems to know his stuff and you'll see on all my social media, I train guys too, but mostly it's mums and you'll see the type of workouts that they do and you want to get involved. We do it both face to face here in Willoughby in New South Wales, Lower North Shore of Sydney, but also in an online environment as well too. You get exactly the same workouts with a full breakdown via a video a bit like this. And the final thing, over these next couple of days when you look at the videos, you can fast track through them at your own behest. There will be three activities, what I call three from three. One mental activity, one something information about metabolism, what does it mean, what's TDEE, what are macros, what are micros, what's calories, the basic stuff, what's the value of water, and then the final one is what's the workout. So I've got some basic workouts for you there to try. Have a look at them, go from there. And if you do decide to book a call, there is what we call a starter offer for you to go through a case study group, which is a little bit on a discount phase, but involves a little bit more work on your part to prove that this methodology works. That's it. My name is Don McStraw. I am a conditioning and performance coach. I do coach mums. It's not cardio bunny stuff. They work, they lift, they swing. That's the stuff that's sitting all behind this white sheet. They get on the salt bikes, they row, they run, they ski. And they lift some goddamn heavy weights as well too. So if you wanna be a strong mum, you wanna be a fit mum, a lean mum, but more importantly, you wanna be a mum that your kids are gonna look up to and go, shit, I wanna be her. And I wanna be able to do everything that she can do, even at her age, you know, they say that. Then I want you to join us. Mum's on the move in 2020. 
All you're gonna do is click, stay, go through, send some information through and book that call. Bye for now.